Hi everyone, welcome to Code Kamkaj YouTube channel. I hope our video are doing good. In the last video, we have discussed about MLflow components. And in this video, we'll be discussing about one of the component called as uh, MLflow tracking. And we'll see how we can log our metrics from our local to remotely hosted MLflow server. And we'll see how we can see the, all the metrics in MLflow UI. So stay tuned until this video and we'll get the entire information, how we can log and how we can play around MLflow. So before starting this video, uh, I'm going to you know bring a few uh, small concept, which is MLflow run and experiment. So run and experiment are uh, both we can widely used in our MLflow you know, uh, entire uh, series. So what is meant by run? Run in MLflow, which denotes a single execution of our machine learning training or evaluation process, which means like you know you are going to execute all your train or machine learning uh, evaluation process, which we called as the uh, run in MLflow. And what is run by MLflow experiment? So experiment in MLflow, which uh, are the way of grouping all runs together in MLflow, which we called as a MLflow experiment. So that's the difference between MLflow run and experiment. So I hope it is clear for you, like, you know, difference between MLflow run and experiments. So again, I'm recalling you run, which denotes the, or uh, represents the single execution of your, um, your uh, machine learning uh, training or evaluation process or running the respective code. And experiment is something that we are going to group in all our machine learning runs. So that's the basic difference between MLflow run and experiment. Now I'll be deeping into uh, like, you know, one of the uh, machine learning model. So here we are going to take the uh, India, one of the Silicon Valley city called as Bengaluru traffic production. And we have the data set and now we are going to uh, taking the, uh, the data set, which have the date and timing and the location, what is the vehicle count. And we're going to try and uh, the uh, data with random, uh, one of your machine learning uh, model and later we will be predicting and respected location where we have the, uh, you know, how many vehicles will be there at respected uh, area. So I'm not going to explain more about machine learning code and all. Uh, so uh, it should be uh, basic understandability. You should have it on, uh, you know, if you're watching this video, like, you know, what is a machine learning and how we can, um, you know, write a machine learning code with the Python and all. But I'll make you understandable in terms of how we can inject all those things. I'll walk you through the source code and all. So here at the first step, so we are importing uh, all the uh, necessary libraries. So pandas and numpies for data manipulations and all we are importing. And now later we are going to uh, train uh, test split and we are going to use a grid search CG from uh, SQLearn for splitting the data and a hyperparameter tuning. And uh, later, uh, we are going to use a random forest for uh, SKLearn, which is the uh, uh, machine learning algorithm for a regression task. We are going to use this. And later, we are going to use the main square uh, uh, error and R2 square to evaluate uh, our model performance. And next, we are going to use a job loop for saving and loading the model. And uh, at the end, we are going to use the import MLflow, which we use for tracking experiments and logging metrics. So here we are going to use the uh, tracking the URL of our MLflow. So here at this uh, particular IP address, my uh, you know MLflow has been running on. Now I have rented a server in AWS, so I have installed uh, MLflow over there. So if you don't know how to install uh, MLflow on any one of the remote servers, so I have already made a video. I request you to watch that. And here I'm going to set my experiment name as a Bangalore 2. This, this is my experiment name. And whenever I run this respected uh, model training and evaluation. So my all run will go and sit under this respected and uh, then go to as an experiment. And now I have the loading data, which is one of the uh, you know, machine learning stage. So this this loading data function, read the CSV, which uh, contain the uh, traffic data. So I have my CSV at this respected uh, place. And um, so this data will use to train the machine learning model. And the second stage we have the uh, Pre-process data. So here, this function uh, like they perform the data cleaning and feature engineering task, which is combining date and time uh, columns into single date time column, 
and uh, which extract the uh, hours and day from daytime column and it drops to some unnecessary columns and uh, it's also encode the location column uh, using one uh, hot encoding so which allow the model to understand the category uh, categorical data uh, of this function the next we have the uh, train model so this respected function split the data into trained and test sets which trains the random forest regressors and evaluate it and uh, so it's going to look into the vehicle count and uh, like an so respected vehicle count is my target variable and it's going to split the data into training 80 percent and testing uh, is a 20 percent set it's up to you like how would like you take the data and later it's going to train the random forest uh, uh, regressor with the 100 trees and uh, it's evaluate the model using mean square error uh, and uh, r squared and it's going to log the uh, you know model parameters metrics into model itself into ml flow so this is ml flow set and it's going to save the uh, respected model as a file so if you see this one this respected snap effect is related to uh, you know it's going to log the parameters which is matrix of your uh, model in ml flow so it's going to start the run and it is going to log the parameter which is model type and uh, uh, random forest regression and an, an, an estimator and uh, mean square error and the uh, uh, r squared so these all the all the log uh, this all parameters and metrics will be logged into my ml flow by using this respected uh, snippet and it is going to log the model also so next uh, next stage is like you know hyperparameter tuning so this respected stage uh, like it's going to tune the model parameter using a grid search cv so i'm I have used a grid search cv for uh, parameter tuning so have uh, taken uh, an estimator max take and min simple split for that which is a parameter grid and you know so uh, this various combination of uh, hyperparameter as i mentioned uh, so like i'm going to test it with uh, different combinations which is uh, an estimator and min simple split and n depth and once i evaluated tune the model so i'm going to log the parameters so here with the ml flow which is ml flow dot star dot run and uh, i'm going to log the parameters of best parameters and uh, mean square and tune and r2 uh, r2 tune so both it has been uh, in a log into ml flow and later we have the basic EDA, which is exploratory data analysis and creating uh, input features and predict the traffic and all. So you can you can pass your prediction and all. And here uh, at the end, so in the main execution, I'm going to in the main block, which is uh, going to run the entire uh, loading the data, pre-processing the data, and uh, performing EDA. And I'm going to give the hours as a eight and. Uh, and eight hour at the day one, what is the you know traffic uh, vehicle count at Indiranagar, one of the major area in uh, Bengaluru. So now model will first it will get trained and you know uh, it will get evaluated later it will give production. So this is the basic information about like you know uh, end source code of this machine learning. Uh, you know uh, how we can uh, how we can punch your all the metrics from your uh, source code to your remotely hosted uh, machine learning uh, ml flow uh, server so uh, as expected like you know uh, you you must have to understand what is the um, like an evaluation and what is the training of your model and after that how you can inject your all parameters to ml flow so this is simply that you have to be more focused uh, once you have evaluated and tuned your model so I hope it is clear for you, like you know, as uh, source code wise. But I have not gone through the most more advanced level because, um, you know, my understandable due to for making this video to only uh, injecting all our uh, metrics from your local to uh, you know our ML source server, not explaining uh, end to end source code. But yeah, so I have tried my best. So if you're still not clear, uh, please uh, drop your comments in uh, the uh, comment section of this video. So I'll uh, surely. You know, replay back to you so now i'm going to run my source code and once i run it so it, my whatever uh, my uh, parameters such as like you know uh, uh, train by metrics and uh, my hyperparameter uh, like evaluation has to be punched over here which is ml flow server which has hosted into my one of the aws which is amazon cloud so now i'm going to run my source code so once i click on the run so my uh, model will go and get the data and it get trained with my 
uh, model. And you know, if you see this one now, we have the mean squared error, which is 2019.9052 and R squared. And uh, so I'll leave about this warnings, few other warnings, which is expecting some signature input example. So you can leave it for time being. I'll fix it in the upcoming videos. Let me go and refresh my, uh, so yeah, it has been uh, injecting. So you see this one, this is the, my uh, Bangalore 2 is experiment name. So previously it was not there. And this is my run name. So run name is not uh, going to be uh, matched with the experiment name because randomly it will pick and it assign the run name. But yeah, all the metrics will be injected into this. So based on your uh, server uh, capacity, uh, it will inject all your metrics and all uh, from your local to a remote server. Seems it is going to take some time. So what I will do, I'll pause the video and I'll come back once it is finished. Okay, so I'm also log injection has been done. So we ran into uh, uh, like, you know, running the code and all the parameters has been injected successfully. And now it is giving prediction of uh, vehicle count for our eight and day one at the location in Indra Nagar is 272. And this is a prediction and uh, it can be accurate, inaccurate because uh, my model, like, and you know, I have not been trained with the much data. So I'm not focusing much into accuracy of the metrics. I'm just focusing on like, you know, how, uh, like, you know, uh it is in performing and you know how we are tracking the metrics from our local to uh, mlflow server so that's our end goal now let's go to our uh, mlflow ui and here we have the bangalore 2 is our experiment and we have the two runs one is for our training and another one is for hyperparameter uh, tuning so if i go and look into that like you know we have the run names so run names are assigned by mlflow as a randomly uh, there is no naming convention has been we can attach from the code. So if I go to the training metrics, so I have the uh, status is finished and when it has created and who ran the, uh, this particular ML flow and experiment ID and run ID. So run ID is uh, changes with, uh, uh, whenever you run it, but experiment ID is same for all the runs if you have grouped up and what is the timing it has taken and what is the tag and what is the source. So this is my Bangalore traffic.py is my source. And if I want to get access it like you know you can go and access the respected uh, file and what is my uh, log model so this is my log model so i can go and look into that what is the model parameters and all and that's the basic information and what all parameters we have passed so we have part is an estimator and model type so an estimator was 100 and these are all the metrics uh, that uh, it has been uh, uh, punched from our local to our mlflow server so we have two uh, metrics, one is R2 and uh, MSC, mean square and uh, R2. So if I go and mean square, so I can see the like, you know, data. So which is metrics is MSC and which is the latest and what is I mean max, uh, you know, values you have, everything is locked and punched here. So this is how you can, you know, look into the data more uh, dynamically, uh, you know, while you are um, like, uh, when you injected your data from your local to a, any remote server and we have seen like you know how the data get performed with respected uh, you know uh, run so you just have trained uh, which which um, which we punch the metrics for mean squared error and r2 square so this is the uh, like you know data uh, which is related to metrics and let's go to hyperparameter tuning uh, metrics. So this is the hyperparameter tuning metrics, and this is the experiment ID, and this is the run ID, which is duration is 16 seconds. And here we have seen like a best param. So we have passed some parameters, which is max depth and uh, uh, min simple uh, split and an estimator. And if you see this one, we have the two metrics, which is RT tuned and MSC tuned. So if you go to RT tune. Uh, we have the uh, data looks like this. So when max and uh, what is the metrics, it has been, uh, you know, uh, injected for this respect. And if you want to download it, you can download it. If you want to adjust it, you can adjust it like X and Y axis data. And you can do that. If we come back and if I do uh, MSE tune. So this is how it look like. Uh, and to tune both uh, I'm going to show you. So yeah, so, so we can punch all the metrics and uh, you can look into that. 
and uh, once you have two runs but you can you may have 10 runs you may have a number of runs so all the information comes here and if you want to see the uh, duration who is the user what is the source and what is the source and what is the version with which model they have used and what all metrics so everything you can look into this amazing ui and if you would like to do a comparison between these two runs with uh, you know uh, uh, schematic ways you can come here you can look into that how it has been getting performed uh, what is the msc and tuned and not to values everything for your both runs so if you want you can add few charts like you know bar charts and pie charts so you can do a number of customization if you want while you are tracking all your metrics so this is about the uh, you know um, injecting your metrics from your local to remote server so i hope it is clear for you like you know getting understandability of ml flow injecting all your metrics and all so that's all for this lecture and i hope it is clear for you uh, of uh, ml flow tracking the first component of our ml flow and we'll see all the other components in upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. Share this video and subscribe to our channel. And until then, bye-bye.